gas emissions, G8 leaders planting trees in a symbolic gesture of their unity during their summit in Hokkaido. Going into the summit, there was doubt if consensus could be reached on cutting CO2 emissions in 2050 by 50 percent. The U.S. had been reluctant to be part of the pledge unless China and India were involved. But a deal Hello everyone, I'm Timothy Go, and welcome to another episode of That's IT. For those of you who know me, you know that I just moved last year and uh, along the process I realized I had a lot of things. I had stacks of VHS tapes, piles of CDs and cassette tapes of music I used to listen to when I was in high school, and actual photographs of me when I was small. Well, I'm a very sentimental person and I'd like to keep all those memories with me and luckily I found a new way of storing my memories digitally. Most of us living in this digital age have inadvertently accumulated gigabytes of digital belongings. For example, the convenience of owning a camera phone and the speed we snap a photo could easily make Clint Eastwood blush in a cowboy style shootout. Well, I know many of you out there own a fancy 10 megapixel camera and guilty of not resizing your photos after your shoot. Well, having file sizes that big is redundant when you can only view it on your 19-inch monitor. We've seen an explosion of digital content on consumers' PCs uh, with more MP3s and music content and music services. Uh, people are using their computers as entertainment devices now. In the past, when people didn't run security software, we'd do surveys, we'd ask them, you know, why aren't you running security software? And they would say, well, there's nothing on my computer that I want to protect. You know, if something happens, if I get a virus, then I'll just reinstall the operating system. That's not the case anymore. So people have digital assets on their computer that are very precious to them. In most cases, the fate of our memories depend very much on a small metal box, which we call the hard drive. The first hard drive came about in 1956 by IBM and has a size comparable to a washing machine. Hard disk, which is its common name, was only used with microcomputers after 1980. When Seagate Technology introduced its first five and a quarter inch hard drive with a maximum storage space of five megabytes. As time passed, hard drive grew bigger in storage space and smaller in physical size. From megabytes to gigabytes to a terabyte, the growth of the hard disk was never threatened by any other innovation. Until recently. One innovation which could end the legacy of the hard disk may be the SSD, short for Solid State Drive. SSDs are commonly available in 64 gigabytes or less, which is very much belittled by the terabytes of storage space offered by the hard disk. And let's talk about the cost. The price of a 64 gigabyte SSD could easily get you a 500 gigabyte to a 1 terabyte hard disk. So why is the SSD even considered a rival to the hard disk? When you take a look at hard disk drive, of course, there are many constraints, there are many implications, especially there are a lot of moving parts in it. So the 0 0.85, when you talk about moving towards a small factor like 0 0.85 and 1 inches, the application as such was more towards uh, the, the iPod, which uh, Toshiba, uh, Apple has been the main one to champion it. Uh, but it is not rugged enough. In fact, there were a lot more rejection coming back from the industry. This is one of the uh, major hindrance for hard disk drive due to its inability to take the ruggedness. Over the last 10 to 15 years, if you take a look, the NAND flash or the solid state memory capacities has increased in leaps and bounds from an 8 megabyte 10 years ago right now to 16 gigabytes. Humongous. I think more or less it is the power consumption that people are looking at. At least the battery, you know, when you use as, as a, uh, when when you use the traditional hard disk drive, 
the power consumption is very high. It's again, it's almost half that of the uh, SSD. The solid state drive is faster, more durable, and more power efficient. With that many advantages, why is it still not commonly available in the market? And why is it not offered in our laptops and PCs? I do not foresee them going anything above 200 gigabyte by next year or so. And, uh, and it will also be very costly. Uh, cost per megabyte will be almost near impossible to compete with hard disk drive. Hard disk maker, and for that matter, all things maker, Samsung Electronics is moving fast in the development of the SSD technology. One of their latest products is the Samsung Flash 128 gigabyte SSD. This two and a half inch drive is faster, more durable, and has better power consumption compared to the conventional laptop hard drive. Samsung also promised a more attractive pricing for this product. The SSD should be in the market at the end of the year. There are probably a thousand and one ways of storing our belongings, but every week only one person will be lucky enough to be our profile of the week. Hi, how are how you? Are you? I'm, I'm good. Good to see you. Us here. Uh, pleasure. And you are our profile of the week this week. Oh, great. I just want to know, you know, we flew like, you know, over 30 hours to get here <laughs> from Singapore. Um, why Orlando? Well, it's a, it's a wonderful place to hold a conference. It's, for most people, pretty easy to get to. It has nothing to do with uh, uh, isolating all your delegates here so we don't get distracted like we <laughs> with oh, in Vegas. No, no, no. No, it, this is closer uh, for, our, for logistically on the eastern uh, side. It, it's closer for people um, uh, in, in terms of the eastern seaboard, in terms of Europe. I've been reading up on you, and I just found out that uh, Jim here is an athlete. You were athlete of the year uh, back in your university yeah, days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, any sports uh, applications you have on your BlackBerry? Um, well, yes, I, I get to all the sports scores. I get the, the Major League Baseball scores and the National Hockey League scores and the uh, I get the basketball scores from the NBA. So, And I also get golf scores. So I like sports scores every day. And uh, but, it, but that's the main application is getting uh, sports content pushed to me. All right, I was alerted as well with your purchase recently of an NHL uh, hockey team. <laughs> uh, tell us more about that. Well, I haven't bought a team yet, so I've been involved in, in buying a team. But uh, as we all know, hockey is the greatest game in the world. And, uh, and so that's something that was an interesting passion of mine, and we're interested in getting another team in Canada. So for me, that's just pure fun. Let's hope it works out the best for you. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> and to ask this one last thing. Apart sure. from switching it off uh, during takeoff and landing, are you willing to turn your BlackBerry off when you go to bed at night? Oh, absolutely. 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 I, it's, every night it auto shuts off. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I shut it off totally. I, totally. I, I would never use it, uh, you know, once I, I go to bed, it's off, and, and then it open, it turns on at a prescribed time in the morning when my alarm goes, it's my alarm, too, mm -hmm. but I, I would, I would never, and occasionally, um, I, I may have it turned on for some reason, and then it vibrates, or somebody will try and call in the middle of the night, I'm like, oh, I'm so <laughs> bothered that I didn't turn it off, so you try to catch me on my Blackberry during nighttime, you will not catch me. That's good Ever. To know. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Pleasure's all mine. All right. Okay, Jim Balsoli is co-CEO of Research in Motion. Next, some innovative ways of storing your digital belongings. We'll be right back. It's a cartoon that's made even his rival cringe. The U.S. magazine that published this cover of Barack Obama and his wife says it's a joke, but does America see the funny side? Now that's on Primetime News. HTC Touch Diamond. There's more to touch in 3D. HTC. Tang 也带给我们无限的商机。
Welcome back to That's IT. Well, all of us by now have our own personal laptops where we store all our pictures, documents, videos, and our own collection of MP3 music. Well, that is, of course, if you don't mind the weight. But if you do want to travel light and still have access to all your digital belongings, then listen up because we have the solutions and some recommendations just for you. Is it even possible to own a personal storage but not own the responsibility of carrying it around? Well, why not? Anything is possible in this digital age. You can even own a second life, right? What I'm talking about is this limitless online space we have. Since most of our belongings are digital, we can easily purchase a digital online storage space to store all our personal belongings. It's just like renting a room. A lot cheaper, of course. The recent increase in online storage capacity has made renting storage spaces much more affordable. Bigger and cheaper bandwidth also encourages us to upload big chunky files, making it a fast and stress-free experience. In the next few minutes here, we will recommend online storage services that you can easily use to back up and to access your files anywhere without your hard disk. If you're in Singapore, I'd recommend the Singnet My Album service. My Album is an online storage service where you can store and share all in one place. You can upload almost any kinds of file formats to the online server, from videos, music, pictures to documents. One very interesting application offered is the fully automated file backup service that comes with My Album. I was told the backup service will automatically start once you've assigned the time you wanted to do the backup. You don't even need to log in. My Album is a service offered by Singnet where we enable you to store inf important information that you have, important data that you have uh, in our storage. And that information can well cover your videos, your photographs, your MMS, your music. Uh, on top of that, uh, even any other documents that may have, whether it's a Word document, it's your PowerPoint presentation or your Excel uh, spreadsheets. I think the general habit of people uh, is that uh, if the drive is with you, it's physically with you, it's in your hands, you feel so much more secure about it. Uh, but, also, but beyond that, you know, you can actually uh, store it elsewhere or online uh, and it can be equally secure because uh, the, what we provide is that it is um, within your provider, within the Singnet. We don't put it anywhere else in the world. It's not out in a cloud somewhere. You don't know where it is, but it's here in Singapore with your Singnet provider. Having a reputable company like Signet managing your files definitely sounds safe, especially if you're one of those who like taking inappropriate portraits in compromising situations. Well, here are the drawbacks. You only get a maximum one gigabyte storage space, and it is quite difficult to find links to the website. Well, if you need bigger storage space and wouldn't mind storing your belongings overseas, I'll show you some of the best online storage services out there. How do most of us store our belongings? In a box, right? Well, BoxNet is an easy-to-use online service with an even easier-to-remember name. It has a user-friendly interface and allows you to easily upload, organize, and store your files. BoxNet also provides additional features like creating a web address that links to your files so you can share it with others, and an email function where you can send a link of your files to someone else. The security features found on BoxNet is excellent. All your file transfers are encrypted using SSL encryption. The upload and download speed is pretty fast. You can easily upload a one megabyte file in just 30 seconds. The maximum storage space you can buy is 15 gigabytes, which will cost you around 20 US dollars a month. There are also plenty of other applications you can try, so just log in to box.net and sign up for a free 2 gigabyte trial. Flip Drive is another online storage service to store your files, your favorite sites, your contacts, and even schedule your important appointments in the calendar provided. Flip Drive is pretty simple to use. It is divided into five main categories for My Drive, photo albums, address book, calendars to favorite sites. 
the upload speed is slightly slower compared to BoxNet by just a few seconds. BoxNet do seem like a better choice, but don't take my word for it. Give it a try. A free trial of 25 megabytes is available at flipdrive.com. Well, before we go on a break, let me introduce you to some newfound friends of mine who will definitely help you if you're quantity challenged just like me. Here are this episode's Gadgets of the Week. Okay, first off, Lenovo Super Slim Uncompromised ThinkPad X300. From Ethernet to USB ports, this laptop has everything a normal laptop has. And with a mere weight of only 1.5 kg, this ultralight laptop even comes with a built-in DVD drive and a 64GB SSD disk. Most of our mobile phones have higher quality cameras but don't usually come with big storage space. SanDisk new mobile ultra 8GB memory card can come in quite handy, especially with its USB adapter. With its fast data transfer speed, transferring large files can now be stress-free. And for some serious file transfer, the Seagate Free Agent Pro. It can transfer 2 gigabytes in just under a minute using an eSATA connection. The storage monster feeds on almost any file sizes you may have, and it can take in most common connections available. Next, we have Apple's Time Capsule, something for you to back up your data wirelessly. The Time Capsule is one of the very few products that incorporate both a wireless router and a hard drive into the same product. Apple products are known for their incompatibility with Windows PC, so we were pretty surprised when we were told that it actually works with Windows PC. With eagerness, we gave it a try on a Windows laptop. Not surprisingly, the transfer speed with a PC laptop is slow even with an N router, and you will sorely miss some of the powerful software. The backup software Time Machine is also not available for the Windows PC. The Time Capsule looks good and clean. The Ethernet, power, and USB ports are all situated at the back of the Time Capsule. The only thing left is a blinking light in the front. The Time Capsule is an Apple product made for Apple. Here's something fun and easy to use. La Cige La Cinema Premiere. Transfer all your movies, music, and pictures to this 500 gigabyte entertainment unit. Well, coming up, the long-awaited 3G iPhone is finally here and find out why it's critical to back up your personal belongings. Threats are, and viruses are trying to steal your personal confidential information. Announcing the arrival of a new nightly business bulletin on Channel News Asia. Asia Business Tonight. Now you can get a sense of the business day in Asia with Melvin Young. Tune in on Mondays for Stockwatch to get the latest and most up-to-date market tips. Check out Sector Spotlight on Tuesdays for a look at the latest in sector developments. And on Friday, get your business fix and market update with financial experts. Your business class experience begins on Channel News Asia. Brought to you by Saxo Capital Markets. Let Canon craft a creative space for little ones to learn and play. With over 70 years of digital imaging expertise, Canon provides customized print solutions for every purpose. Canon's team of dedicated engineers will understand your business needs and follow through with end-to-end -end solutions. Together, we can take your business to greater heights. Call on us today. Canon, delighting you always. Ocean. 
Okay, so I don't have to tell you or remind you how important your digital belongings are, but I do need to tell you some of the important happenings in the fast-changing world of IT. Apple fans lined up for hours to get their hands on the new iPhone. More than 60,000 people ordered the iPhone 3G in Hong Kong, but only about 1,500 pre-chosen customers were able to pick up their handsets. The new 3G iPhones surf much faster when connected to a 3G network. This is especially noticeable when using the Google Map application where map loading is needed. The AGPS that comes with it also gives a better reading of where you are by using the cell phone towers to triangulate your position. With a 2.0 software, the iPhone is a smarter phone. It now works with Microsoft Exchange Server to allow push email. The 3G iPhone was only launched in 22 countries, with Hong Kong and Japan being the first two Asian countries to have the iPhone. But here's the good news. The next three places to feel the iPhone fever are Macau, the Philippines, and Singapore. As for the price, most Asian countries are selling the iPhone for about 300 US dollars with a two-year mobile plan. And here's some insider information if you happen to live in Singapore. We were told to watch out for lines forming outside the Singtel store in two more months. So start counting down and start saving up. The second piece of news still revolves around the iPhone. Welcome to the new MySpace iPhone app. Online websites are rushing into the iPhone craze by developing applications specially for the iPhone. IGN, a video game website, and MySpace, a social networking website, have both announced their new software for the iPhone. It looks like there could be more to come. A recent report tells us that each of us carry about 45 gigabytes of personal digital memory. We broke that down for you, and that means thousands and thousands of digital photographs and thousands of document files and hundreds of video files and even more MP3 music files. It's going to be quite painful to lose all that lifetime of memories. And I know some of you out there have lost yours, right? So it's a good time to kick in the habit of backing up. The main reason for backing up is to protect yourself from virus attacks. I've reformatted my PC and restored my phones to factory settings just to remove those uninvited viruses clinging onto my operating system like bees to honey. Although viruses are no longer hitting our PCs like an atomic bomb and killing everything in sight, we have no reason to believe that this trend won't make a comeback. Now threats have changed and hackers are trying to get viruses onto your computer and have them stay there for as long as possible. And the reason they want them there is so that they can log your keystrokes to get your usernames and passwords and have that information sent back to the hacker. The attackers are also interested in trying to take control of your computer, to use your computer to attack other computers, maybe send spam from your computer, so it's a very different threat environment than we saw a few years ago. According to Strategy Analytic, we found that a lot of information, communications, GPS, entertainment, I actually retrieved through the device of a handheld device called mobile phone. In this particular case, people are using mobile phone for downloading music, video, broadcastings, and all of these digital contents are actually coming into $100 billion by the year 2012. Virus attacks, hardware failure, and sudden power trips are common events that have happened more than once in our lifetime. For those of you who live to tell your tale will brag about how lucky you are. And for those who have lost all their digital memories, we'll try not to bring up this painful encounter. So how can we prevent these fateful events from robbing us of our memories? One of the best ways to back up all your data is to get one of these large, relatively inexpensive drives and back up your data onto that drive on an ongoing basis. You mentioned large file sizes. 
the way most backup products work is that they'll back up the entire file the first time, which it, of course, needs to do. But then any time that file changes, good backup software will only back up the changes. It'll keep track of how those files are constructed and then put those files back together if you ever need to recover the file. That's all we have for you this week, but I hope all of you learned a thing or two about keeping your memories safe and lasting. After all, it's better be safe than sorry. I'm Timothy Go, and until next week, that's it. History, science, art, religion, providing Asian perspectives in an ever-changing landscape. Channel News Asia. You not only led your organization to success, but shaped the economic landscape in Singapore as well. Now, as our island nation turns 43, it's time to pay tribute to her. We now invite companies to salute the nation with your well wishes and greetings. To find out more, email integratedmedia at mediacorp.com.sg or call 6359 7359. Patek Philippe is one of the few remaining family-owned Swiss watch manufacturers. The company designs and produces the world's finest timepieces. Time by Patek Philippe, brought to you by Sincere Fine Watches. Good evening, everyone. I'm Melvin Young. And I'm Melissa Hyak. You're watching Primetime News on Channel News Asia. In the headlines, from Hong Kong to Tokyo, a wave of selling across banking and financial counters on concern over their exposure to the U.S. mortgage crisis. Malaysian opposition figure Anwar Ibrahim faces arrest over charges of sodomy as police seek his DNA in their investigations. A Singapore charity chief and monk in court for alleged forgery, conspiracy and misuse of funds. And outcry over a US cartoon that portrays Barack Obama and his wife as extremists. Asian stock markets took a beating today on continued concerns over the impact of the US housing credit crisis. Banking and financial counters came under heavy selling pressure. Now, there's some concern about the exposure to the troubled U.S. mortgage, mortgage giants Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. Rescue plans announced by the U.S. government failed to soothe investors' nerves. And Channel News Asia's Roland Lim has been watching the market action from Hong Kong. Well, it's not a pretty picture, and all over you see it's a sea of red. And as you rightly mentioned, the falls are due to credit market woes. Now, banks and insurance stocks let the move southwards. In Japan, selling was spurred. No, 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 I'm not talking about me here. I'm talking about how some companies use the image of sex and the idea of being sexy to sell their products. Admit it, I know some of you... No, 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 I'm not talking about me here. I'm talking about how some companies use the image of sex and the idea of being sexy to sell their products. Admit it, I know some of you out there have bought a product or two just because it's sexy or you think it makes you look cool. Most of us have on more than one occasion splurge on gadgets that we don't really need. We have also bought into the idealistic lifestyle portrayed by pretty models. Thanks to slick advertising, we are led to believe that a certain technological product equals to a certain lifestyle. So, are we